last night that one was technically a howling wolf song we just took a little blues progression too here's one of mine yeah
so much. sell my t-shirts for 10 bucks a piece tonight I decided because I don't want to bring them all the way back to Austin for like the second year in a row what a deal it is kind of a deal and I mean I think they cost me seven I just really want to make different t-shirts and all in like one or two colors because this is a nightmare with so many colors for different genders and whatever's so anyway the 10 bucks a piece and they're really high quality and they're sexy it's my profile on there guaranteed gets you laid at some point in your life Non-refundable. <laughs> right there. Thank you, Bob. I mean, work shirts are ten bucks a piece at this point. Yes, it was good. I might buy one. <laughs> it's a good deal. It's like it's a goodwill. Some goodwill shit right there. Some Martins. <laughs> Here's a song of my latest record. It's up here.
Harley Smith and the drums. <laughs> and, and the specificities. And that's, that's Pete Jennifer on the bass guitar over there. Arguably the um, sex appeal of this band. <laughs> Used to be coursing, but then he had kids. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> it's Richard Corson on the guitar. <laughs> this is also off my last record, which uh, co coincidentally is a pile of them in that case right in front of you to help yourself kind of a deal with that. I like selling records, but not enough to help you. Just grab what you want. Do whatever you want. Wild West up here as far as merch goes. Um, AK, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks, let's go Lost in the Woods. That is off the new record. It's still new to me. I was still in here last summer, I guess. <laughs> How are you all doing tonight? Hope you like guitar solos, because there's going to be a few of those. <laughs> We're going to do one of our project songs. What is it? This is a David uh, Mallet song that uh, I recorded a few years back. Pete was highly involved with this one, too. Oh, shit. Ten men. Ten men? Yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. I think we do a No, we don't. Okay. You know, Mallet. Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, thank you. Sings it, yeah. Sure, remember, it's super tight. All right, anyway, here's a... By the time we ended the last time, we were like, it's like a like All right, so here's a Dave Mallet song that I don't have CDs of anymore. There was very few of those made. But it is up on Spotify and all the other legal theft sites. Oh, and I put out a new single too that's up there as well. It came out yesterday, so check it out. David Mallet's one of the great songwriters hailing from Maine. Been covered by Emmy Lou Harris, I believe, and John Denver. One of his songs was on the Muppets even. Which is kind of totally cool. <laughs> and uh, he also has his a couple of his sons are in a band called the Mallet Brothers, and they're alright too. Not bad. Right. Ten men in the black 
everybody Somebody better take charge Can't let this go be easy And they get back in their chairs And then in the black hat Be sure you weren't there This song here is for Noel Jennifer. Yeah. She sent me an email once. This is called Baby in the Bathtub. And she says, I think about Pete when he was in the bathtub. And I don't remember what I sent, but I'm pretty sure I've said something like, well, I definitely didn't write it about Pete in the bathtub. But I'm glad it means something to you in that regard. I have another song about Pete in the bathtub, but I'll never tell him or you. Which one it is? <laughs> Just walk away, right?
much a note for note what we did on the record never sounds the same twice folks but either way the first version is on vinyl down there as well as CDs
playing all the. I shouldn't say we're playing all the fun ones. We got a whole other set, and they're always fun. And we'll have a few requests, I'm sure, to fill fill in the time here. <laughs> Back is the latest. Fine demonstration of how to purchase music directly from the artist. Love it. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. The song's called I Dream. This is off an album called Secret Songs for Secret People, which came out in 2000, I think 2011, but what? Might have been longer.
song here. This will be one of uh, one of my next singles, uh, but I don't know when. I gotta get back to Austin and continue frigging around with it, but uh, it'll come out one of these days.
on the guitar. He's doing okay, isn't he? Yeah. He's not happy. Are you really? Yeah. I'm Richard. Here's another song of the new record.
the keeper. Oh, well, we did keep it. It's kept on compact disc. And now it's online, so it's forever. Until the power goes out for real. Then we'll be scrambling to hear that song. Yes, sir. We're going to slow it down even a little bit more. And then we're going to punch it right up again.
thank you so much. That is yet another one of my songs, if you're just joining us. You like it better the other way? The other meter, yeah. It's probably way better. Chad like the other way. I like this way. This is going to be the next 10 years playing it like that. That's fun. And hey, we're going to do a, a song for my friend Greg up front here, who came in from Austin, good friend of mine. Totally randomly, also the brother of the guy that owns this place. Crazy we all meet here. <laughs> it just happens. So, not very often I learn a song at request. By the way, I'm back ordered till 2094, so don't ask for any more, anybody. Uh, this song's called Terry's Song. Uh, it's a Bruce Springsteen song. So. Then we're going to take a quick break and we'll be, be right back. Please tip your bar staff on your way out. And I keep forgetting to mention this tip, tip bucket, but it's like some of you people noticed it already, so thank you very much for that. Definitely a great way of showing you're enjoying what we're doing. I've been looking at helicopters on Craigslist, so please stuff that thing. I'd love to have a helicopter in Austin. Actually, I'd love to have one here. Forest Ave sucks. Just go to Coors and tell us in like four minutes. I just hang out all the time. I've never actually thought of owning a helicopter. Maybe I need to think bigger. Seems kind of cool. <laughs> Oh 
Bar staff, go guys, if you happen to be kicking out of here.
Thank you so much. You guys look like you're all ready to rock on a Wednesday night. Y'all fucking tuned up. <laughs> Where I grew up, that's how they'd say it. You don't fucking tune great up. Just fucking I can't even talk in that accent without saying the F word. It's impossible. I've never heard anything in that accent that didn't involve the F word as a joining word of some sort. <laughs> We've been playing a lot of songs off the new record. This is uh, this is an, uh, no exception. Oh, it's in this key. Hold on. It's this. Well, uh, I got to cheat on this one. I know I'm going to forget the order of the verses.
Thank you. That still feels like a new song. It's on the new album. Track two, as a matter of fact. Back. Hey, so let's try a... I know we got some some uh, folks in the front row hankering for this song. We're going to play Led Zeppelin for you. Oh, yeah. It's my band, it's my gig. <laughs> goes out to David Polito here in front and Deb too maybe you like the same songs as him I don't know but he, he's the reason we're here this is a uh, he's this is the owner of the establishment yes clap or they'll kick your asses out he's crazy he'll do it <laughs> Yeah. 
Music Carson. You know, he's still got it after all these years. Came right out of the box playing like that, I heard. Play one of my songs. Yeah, actually, I, I did think of, we we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a song called "Under a Tree." Whenever I look up and I'm like, oh, what should we play? This is one Pete says. Hey, it's Richard too. Yeah, both of them. Only hitches you have to make this like a bigger solo than that last song. You gotta do it on a waltz.
the cause This ain't playing cards He's losing his only hands There's a face in your window That relates but can't understand Thank you so much Thank you. It's one of our artsy songs. I was listening to a lot of Bob Dylan. Doing a ton of drugs. Just kidding. I never really did a lot of drugs. Just saying that. I wish I could say that. Pot just destroys me. Oh, man. course and just get up stage celebrity wise I love it this sounds going out to Jason and back It sounds called Two Wine Glasses. Another one on one of my many records in front that I'd prefer not to have to carry all the way back to Austin with me. Probably carried some of those records up back and forth like five or six times.
off a record called The Giraffe Attack Collection, because that was at a band called Giraffe Attack here. It was the first band we played with here, I think. Something like that, yeah. Really wonderful singer, Ryan Sear, and I wrote that for harmonies, and every time I sing that alone at the end, I realize I need harmonies. Sounds good, man. Yeah, like but it sounds right really good with a lot of vocals. Next year. Harley says next year. He'll bring his mic. I might regret it, but the vocals, it might be a wash. That is Harley Smith, the drummer. He's also known as Mr. Harley, uh, children's entertainer. Is that how it goes? Hey, he's, he kills it. He's very successful. We wish you the best of luck. I don't know how you can keep doing that with so many restraining orders and papers filed, but it's cool. <laughs> that's that's uh, <laughs> Pete Jenner on the bass guitar. Hey, I'm Mr. Richard Bitchard Corson on the guitar.
Richard gave me a solo. I th he's not getting paid enough to play so many, I think. You guys doing okay? Oh, it's really sad. This is my last night here. It's been a lot of fun, thanks to David and Deb for having us and treating us so damn well. It's really nothing like it anywhere else in the world that I've ever experienced. But I've only been to like three places total, but still, it's pretty awesome. You guys ever seen the movie Harold and Maude? It's pretty awesome. It's called Harold and Maude. I lived it a little bit and it wasn't that awesome. But it, the only difference was we were like the same age, but it still felt like that. It's a weird thing, anyways. I don't know, but I did want a Jaguar horse after the whole thing. I have no idea what he's talking about. You never seen that movie? It's like a 70s, pretty. Anyway.
song you like halfway done your set you're like oh, okay I guess I'm glad you're halfway done that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> no we're not oh, did you play Daniel's score again? no we haven't we will though that's a good idea we're gonna do that kind of forgot about that one so I think you guys like guitar music and loud shit like this yeah it's still hanging We're doing all originals here. And don't get me wrong, I love Jimi Hendrix, but I don't I don't know that we know any together cohesively. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep picking the songs because I think I think I think I'm doing pretty good at it so far. Don't bother Dan. Pete. Yeah, while I'm tuning, I do have to mention we have a tip jar up here. It means a hell of a lot to us if you throw a couple bucks in there, uh, maybe before you leave, because we're all. This is mainly what we do for a living. This is what we do for a living, except for Pete. He's a corporate guy, but we don't give him as many tips because he's got a 401k and all this ridiculous <laughs> stuff. Amen. Now we split him in. Good. Good. Right. We cut him in. Thank you very much. Very wonderful display of how to use that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think so too. 
Oh well, yeah, and when you if you if you're on your way out and you don't empty your pockets all the way, there is another one up there for this bar staff behind you that is always one of the most gracious and happy and, and uh, helpful crews I've ever been around. I w actually, I do want to figure out how you guys do all your. Uh, not that I'm ever gonna need employees, but my God, I don't know how you always have like such happy employees doing this. To, with tourists most of the time. It's, it blows my mind. They're super cool. <laughs> Every year. That might be a lot of it. But... All right. I'll shut up. Hopefully you're making change out of that. You're not just lifting 220s, right? All right. <laughs> I ain't got time to please this fucking thing. <laughs> hey, this song's called General Store. Uh, it's on the record. We played a lot of stuff off my new record. Um, and if you're bad with decisions like I am, I've got all five records slapped together with some painters tape for 45 bucks, and you can grab those too. school kids for a loop. Right. 
like you guys been out here and humor me all summer. All three weeks I'm here, so. That's how Richie Corr on the guitar. You all know that. The Wizard. Pete Jennifer on the bass. Laying it down. Little face. Mr. Harley on the Mr. Drums. Give us a little something. shows I've been putting on my YouTube channel. Just type my name in, click subscribe, and uh, just look at the shows on there. Anyways, this will be up there eventually. They take me like five hours a piece to put up, so I, I'm kind of slow at it, but they will get up there. Because apparently, COVID's taking over Austin again, so I'm going to go down there and do nothing except put up shit on YouTube. So... <laughs> That's coming up here, though. Be careful. Uh, that was kind of a bummer thing to drop, huh? Oh, sorry. I don't have a filter. If I was a pool, I'd be a bad one. Jolene. Uh, All right. Yeah, we're all down tuned. We have to communicate in this weird. We have codes.
You could easily take my man, but you don't know what he means to me, Jolene. You can never be choice of man, honey. I could never love again. Yes, he's the only one for me, Jolene. Richard Corson on the red. That's Paul. We, just, we did do one more. And my name is Eric Benton. We'll see you next summer. <laughs> <laughs>